have seen people's uh, businesses seriously affected, including the travel industry, the hospitality industry. Fred, wh what is your concern right now? That people aren't going to be going out and people's businesses are going to be um, damaged? Well, I think that the situation has already started. Um, uh, restaurants are down. Some are down by 20 percent, 50 percent. I hear stories of 90 percent. Only last night, a friend of mine called me and he said, you know, I've been asked to take a, uh, my leave. I've got three weeks leave. And if business doesn't pick up, I will lose my job. And I told him, well, you know, you've got to be ready. You are going to lose your job. It's going to happen. And the problem is that it's not just one restaurant. It's every single restaurant, every single hotel, every single even company. And you're talking about 3.2 million people. So uh, my concern here is mass unemployment is in the country and how this will affect society. And I think that what we need to do is we need to take a, a very creative approach here to ensure that people can pay their rent, buy food and, and generally get by until this is over. I mean, yesterday when I talked to your team, um, I said to them that this is for me going to last for at least a year. Uh, NHS England has just announced it last night that it was going to last for a year. So if people do not work for a year, how are they going to get by? So, you know, I think that we need to have a bottom up approach where we're going to ensure that people have the means to get by with their lives, because we're going to be worried about the virus, about our parents, people who have uh, uh, underlying health issues. But what we don't want is we don't want to also add the worry about feeding your family and, uh, yes. and and just getting get, getting on with life because this is going to break down society and we cannot afford to let this happen. Now I hear what happened with BA and Virgin and all the airlines. You know, for me is you know the planes can stay on the ground, but what we must do is feed the people and make sure that people have pay their rent. So you know, look, there are uh, lots of measures that we can do. I'm not an economist. I'm not a specialist in uh, finance. But I'm sure that if we put our head together, we can find a solution to ensure that people can, can, can just get I by. I think that's right, Fred. I think the government's going to have to do a lot more to help a lot of small businesses, particularly yes. in the industries which are being most hit. I mean, what I would say about the, the travel business, the airlines and so on, they have thousands, tens of thousands of employees who are worried sick right now because they're all getting laid off, they're all mm -hmm. seeing their industry decimated, people are no longer flying. And so I think the same applies to them as applies to people in the restaurant business, in the bar business. Imagine being in Ireland where every pub has been shut. Mm -hmm. You know, this may happen here. What happens to people, to bar staff, to people who work in cafes, to people who work in restaurants as waiters or chefs or whatever it may be? And as you this say, is going to hit a that lot of industries. People can't then pay their own bills. They can't pay their rent. They can't look after yeah. their own families. Um, let's hope that the government addresses that a little bit further I mean, look, this afternoon. With, with, unfortunately, with the government, I mean, I think that the, the response of the uh, uh, government is totally incompetent and irresponsible. I mean, let me give you an analogy. If you were, for, for example, organising a wedding in a restaurant and you only have 100 seats and you have 300 people at that wedding and you know they're going to come in two months' time, you've got to order a marquee for your garden. You've got to make sure that you've got fridges and, 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 and cooking equipment. You've got to order tables and chairs. You've got to order uh, glasses. You know, you've got to hire staff. You've got to make sure you brief them, you train them. Because when people are going to turn up at the wedding at 12 o'clock, everything is to be ready. And we have known for this crisis for the last three months, and it's people's job to organise these kind of things. And only yesterday, uh, Matt Hancock was talking about uh, getting JCB to do ventilators. I mean, this is just beyond me that this yeah. level of incompetence is allowed, you know, in government. And uh, in terms of the restaurant industry, I mean, for me, it's just obvious it's, it's going to happen. I've seen it coming for, for, for yeah. weeks but nothing has been done. It's somebody's job to do that, to concentrate on that and focus and, and get it done. You know, if uh, people were as bad as this at running restaurants or businesses, we will already all be bankrupt. Uh, but the point is, it's an issue of trust. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the government, Boris, uh, 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 and, and, and all his, 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 his team there, have been lying to the British public over Brexit since 2016. So no wonder why people don't believe them now. OK, Frank, and, look, and I mean, personally, I think we should leave uh, Brexit out of all this. I think that we should leave politics, actually, out of this. What you, The points you've raised about the staff who work in all the uh, service industries they need to be taken care of. It's this government has got to time. step up and help the travel industry, help the service industry, the restaurant business, all of it. You raised some good points there. Fred, thank you very much for joining us.